Oh, well, hey everybody, welcome back to Two Dads React. We thank you if you are finding us for, for the first time. Thank you for giving us a shot. If you're a returning viewer, thanks for coming back. Uh, we are hoping for a nice, calm, relaxing episode of Andor and very little reaction. I just want we've we've escaped prison. We've we've done all that we need to do. It's it, last week was a bit of a uh, a nail biter, a edge of the cedar, a uh, white knuckler. I don't have any more acronyms for the stress that we were under <laughs> <laughs> last week, but it was. I want. I want more of it, dude. I want well, more of it. I want more of, of. Oh shit! Remember to breathe. That's right. Yeah, <laughs> it's like Corey, breathe, breathe. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta keep breathing. Um, I want to call out a person who commented on our last video. I think summed up what's happening right now in the Star Wars like Disney universe. And he said, after serving us pop and pop soda and beer, Disney finally served us fine wine. And I think we've been like trying to figure out exactly how to describe what Andor is to us who are members of the, of the star Wars fandom, but why it feels so different and is so like cool and fun to watch. And I think that kind of summed it up uh, completely. Yeah, no, it's fantastic words for the internet. <laughs> Which doesn't happen a lot. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, uh, yeah, hop in our comments on this video. Let us know what you're liking so far about Andor. Why do you think it's this? Why is it so different? Why do you Why do you think it is the way it is? And, and is, it, is it your favorite Star Wars? Tell us why it's your favorite Star Wars show, because it's got to be. <laughs> so, yeah, we're on episode, what, 11? We got this episode. And we got one more episode, and that's it for season one. And you were mildly excited last week because you found out that uh, season two has already been greenlit. So a show you love is already getting a second season, which yeah, is dude, not that what was... usually happens with you. No, no, no. I always get just screwed on TV I like. We have a but long history is... of... <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, that's the... that. It's not occasionally either. It's like all the time. As soon as I find one, but this show, oh man, dude, it's so good. Like when I found out that there was season two that I, I was just like under the table, like, yes, I don't want to show too much excitement. I don't want to like tip karma or, fate away. Or, or anything. I just, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I, I only think we are getting two though. So don't get too excited. Cause I think two, someone said in the comments, um, that two is going to take us up to the events of rogue one. So you're going to get this season, season two, and then right into Rogue One, then there's no more. So that's Yeah, that's it. cool. Like, I'm all right with that. That's just one more than the curse I'm normally stuck with, and I'll take that. Right, and it's just, and it's a story that we all wanted. Well, I guess we all didn't know we wanted it. I knew some of us when, when Rogue One first came out, you're like, who's that guy? Like, what? Where's he? what's he doing? Where's he from, and what's his backstory? I like when they pick that, and they're telling those stories, and I think there's a lot – in the Star Wars universe, they could get that treatment. So hopefully this is a setting a tone for like the, we're going to tell you some more backstories that I'm okay with that. So I just hope this is setting the tone of how, like anytime we see the empire, like we really just feel. Cause I mean, when you're watching it, like you feel how like evil these dudes are now before it was kind of like, ah, they're the big bad space guy that we're supposed to attack and win. Like they're the bad guy of the movie. Like, now when I watch it, man, I'm like, dude, these guys are really terrible. Like, I just never, never put it all together how evil these guys really were. Well, yeah, and, and I, I have to give Mandalorian, Boba Fett, and Andor credit for making singular, like, a few stormtroopers or one TIE fighter or one AT-AT or, you know, or ATST with the two-legged one, the chicken walker. Anyways, like, making those fucking frightening like on screen like they've done it in all those and like you've seen them in the movies but they were always big giant space battles and they were always getting blown up by x-wings and whoever's fighting them so it was you know but but just putting one like when it's flying through a canyon just is scary like it's making them scary and i think it's really cool because it puts kind of like this like visceral like like oh shit they're not they're not messing around. So I, I, I enjoy what, what all the shows so far have done with those things, with onesie twosies of those uh, items, those, you know, equipment. Yeah, no, just how imposing it all is now. Like, that's what mm -hmm. is, that's what's really fun with it. 
and I want that to never go away. Like, I don't want it to be quote unquote cowboys and yeehaw cowboys, like in space. Like, I, you know, if you're going to be a cowboy, like I want there to be a really risk, like, Oh God, is he going to die moment? Because I believe you actually have a chance of dying in the show now or like in the movie, you know, like right now I still feel like our main dude could die at any moment. And we would just have to live with it. Like, I know like, there's a season we, two, but there's so there many people they could pick yeah. from. Right. Like, <laughs> right. It, and, and I, it, dude, it's, oh, it's wild. It's fun. It's so fun. All okay, right. Well, let's we see. Probably watch it. Episode 11. Let's <laughs> see how fun it gets. Okay, here we go. What's the music going to be about this time? Can you imagine being the G that like brought that intro to like to people? It's like, you know, watch this for the first time. Check this right. shit out. Ooh, I like whatever like flute or some sort of. Yeah, their sound engineers were on point. They're leaving. That does not look like fun. No, it does not. That was steep. Yeah, right. I'll have them clear the room if you want to be alone. I did, don't want to be alone. I want Mama Marva. Hmm. Is a droid gonna make me cry this episode? Because it said mechanical whimper in the subtitles. Oh, did it? <laughs> I, was like, I was like, oh, you poor little thing. <laughs> yep, we know she's still there watching everything. And well, now she's working at the bar. What are those things? Glad his hand sorted it out. I would have sucked if we had to watch him die on the cliff and just like him climb away. I believe that guy is in Rogue One as well. Like that actor, ah. or at least that character. I was watching someone last week talk about it. Did they never get back in time? there's someone else in there? We get out here. I know. I feel it. He's. <laughs> 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 Not good. Oh! Oh, he's the. Oh, he's the. Terribly really scary I'd... fellas that turned out to be nice. Right? <laughs> I'm sure it's fine to be in space with that. I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Rules for a reason. You don't seem to understand that. This is the most tense, calm conversation ever. <laughs> I like that door. It is a very interesting design. I want to see how they do these bricks so I can figure out how many people that made this goddamn city. Right. Big man's on site. I want full coverage. Spotters front and back. I want to know immediately about any comings and goings. Visitors, deliveries, anything. Yay! It's our bell guy. I've missed this guy. Damn, she is... Not doing well. She loves it. And her friends. It's the only thing she shows up on time for. It's mad. Kids making a <laughs> making a little cult up. <laughs> there you are. What are you doing here? Well, I come back to see you. Oh my gosh, dude. The fucking <laughs> eyes she gives her mom. God <laughs> damn, kid. <laughs> Jesus, that hurt me watching it. 
Yeah, that was a deadly glance. Woo! <laughs> Where's this poor bastard? Hey, so, forgive me if I'm a bit hasty. I can barely hear you. Yes, Molana one, still here. <laughs> Andor's mother? The lots of back and forth with Coruscant about it. Are you saying that he's there? No, no, I'm in Molana. Where is Andor? <laughs> I knew you'd want to. <laughs> it's the best phone call ever. <laughs> Poor fucking dude, man. Yes. Feel the evil. I know, right? They play some dark music with him. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I'm still rich, bitch. At first, I was like, did he bang both of them and then still bugged out? Or did he just snuck in while they were sleeping? I was like, dude must know something about them tentacles. Put it down or give it back. <laughs> Put it down or give it back. <laughs> Which means either you're ISB or you have someone inside that you are protecting. Or I'm just a very good listener. Sagar is a smart son of a bitch. Who is it? It's tubes. He is a chico. Well, <laughs> <laughs> the greater good. Call it what you will. Like Let's I said last week, man. War. The dirty side of the of the, of the rebellion. You got to see how the how the soup is made. I'm so intrigued by this dynamic. What the f mother son? Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're going to go buy ourselves some passage back to where I was. Look at our new ship designs. I like it. I have an engine overheating here, so it may take a moment. Counter measures. You better James Bond that shit. Let's do it. Gauge <laughs> reverse stabilizers on my throttle. Acknowledged. <laughs> I like how this ship. <laughs> What is that? Oh, shit. <laughs> no, from a whole craft. I just wrecked your shit. Damn, that was wicked. That was badass. Look Tracking at it. Punch it. <laughs> Hello there. <laughs> Fucking them up. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> Dude, you just got fucking like oh like owned. <laughs> Holy shit, that was wicked. Oh damn. Just let her know what I said. Wait. What? Don't do it. Sorry, man. I know. Take this. People have to know about this. Give the guy a little cash, it wouldn't hurt. I mean, 
Yeah, it'd have been like, I'll tell you what though, it's Imperial Patrol shit that's going on. I don't want the gun, but I'll take a little bit of that money. Right, and you get a little bit of that cheddar, just a little bit, just get a little taste. Fuck you, show. <laughs> Leave us on that. Leave us on that. Uh, that cliffhanger. The. Ooh. Oh man. That was a little that bit of fun. a. That was a little bit of a melancholy show. Uh, minus our one. Minus our battle. Our Luthen battle. <laughs> yeah, that was wicked, man. For all like twenty five seconds, dude. That shit was insane. He's like, I'm old. But I'm old for a reason. <laughs> you don't let yeah, me be this right? age. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Seen a few things. Right? With his like like rock thrower. Like whatever he was he was firing projectiles, like which is not projectiles like aren't a thing in Star Wars. Like it's you know, it's laser bolts or something. I don't know if it's actual like other than plasma or whatever it could be. I don't know what their laser beams are, but like actual things he was just firing at the at the antenna that just just shredded it that was wild it looked cool too like whatever material it was made out of Mm -hmm. like i want to i want to know more about that in general right (laughs) and then and then like like laser like actual like laser beams that like cut through the ships like (laughs) i was like What's the range on those? Cause like you cut shit down the planet. Like what's happening with those? They got like a thirty, like they got like a three hundred yard radius on those things before they stop being. Yeah, there's a whole bunch about his ship I need to know now, and now I'm not gonna learn any of it. They're not gonna yeah, tell right. us any it's... of that. <laughs> so you just like walk in the bookstore one day and you find like ships of Star Wars. You're like, oh please, where the fuck is this one at? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right. Right, and there was no clues in the subtitles, like whatever name of the weapon, arming noise or anything. Like, it didn't tell me. It didn't uh, tell me anything in subtitles. I was waiting for it. Be like, come on, if you can tell me that the and that, that the that the droid whines and whimpers, you can tell me the name of the gun that's arming. Like, come on. <laughs> <laughs> but as usual, a fantastic showing by the, by this episode of Andor. Last episode next week. Um, I'm really excited. I, yeah, me too. Yeah, yep. So uh, anybody who stayed till the end, thank you very much for watching until now. Um, if you have any ideas for what we should watch next that's coming out soon, please drop those in the comments. We're kind of at like that holiday. There's not a whole lot of Star Wars or Marvel or anything really coming out, and I'm trying to figure out what we should react to next. So if you got any ideas, drop them in the comments. Uh, until next week, we will see you later. Yeah, see you guys.